Okay, can you get into little groups of three and make me a front row? Okay. Doesn't matter what position you normally play. Any three, any three, any three. Just, just bind up as a front row. Okay, don't do anything other than just bind up. Would you be happy with that? Guys at the back, would you be happy with that, sir? Okay, so there's a few bits of things we need to sort out. Okay, same groups of three, but you stand in a different position, do the same thing again. Off you go. Doesn't really matter because you're going to do it again in a minute with the other, you on the other side. So, okay, how are you going to make that bind tight? Give all the way the right answers away straight away. How are you going to make that bind tight? Squeeze, pull in, yeah. Squeeze and pull in, grip the shirt. Is that what's going to make it tight? Okay, let go. Okay, apart from these guys, you've obviously been really well coached from somebody who's been on a scrum and one, two, three workshop. Um, their answer to getting it tight was to actually just get hold and pull a bit tighter. Okay, if you remember back to your sports science at college, okay, a little practical example, you can all have a go. Get hold of your hands like that. Go on, please, join in. Pull against yourself. Okay, you can't do that for very long, can you, because it's very fatiguing. Isometric contraction, muscle fibres under tension, not lengthening, not shortening, very fatiguing. You can't do that for very long. Concentric contraction where your muscle fibres shorten and you're like this one day. You can do that for hours. Okay, so you don't want to be in isometric contraction. Can I borrow a hooker please, quickly, any hooker? Okay, stand there for me. Okay. So, there's my hooker, how are you going to prepare yourself for the scrum, where are you going to put your feet, hands up, so you're ready for binding, what are you going to do with your feet? Okay, feet square, okay, when the second rows come in, and the ball's coming in, where's your hip knee to be facing, where's your, which foot straight, right, so you have to, if you actually do that, you can start that process, so just step forward, with your, like, keeping your feet fairly in line, okay. So all I've asked him to do is step forward so that his hips are starting to turn, keeping his upper body square. I'm the loosey lefty now, remember? I'm going to approach from behind him, binding on somewhere around the, uh, between the sternum and the armpit, depending on how big he is and how big I am and the length of my arms. I'm going to walk into position, keeping my hips square and my shoulders square, without compromising my hips, reach down, he gets a bind. Now by pulling through, that's made that tight without having to pull in and make that isometric contraction. All I'm doing is gripping. You're gripping, yeah? Okay. So that's making that tight. Can you come and do that for me, Lucy Lefty? Okay. Feet into position, don't compromise your hips. Reach across, pull through. So on the pulling through, we've now should have four shoulders showing, four hips showing, four feet in parallel facing forwards. Righty tighty, bind on the shorts to help turn the hips, walk in, square, reach across, pull through. And again, all I'm having to do is grip to make it tight. Crouch, <coughs> we're now in a position ready to um, engage in the scrub. You happy with that? Just in little groups, just try that walk around bind process for me. So it's called a walk around bind, it's pretty self-explanatory, it does what it says on the tin, you walk around to make the bind, pulling through. And the, the, the science behind it is, is that you're not having to get that isometric contraction, okay? <laughs> okay, but look where your feet are, so your hips are pointing in, okay? Good, stand up guys, let's have that same hooker again for me and the same Lucy lefty. Just before I, just let me step in first. Okay, find the loose head.
as I step in, it's important I get my inside foot up to keep my hips square. If I go outside foot up first, what happens to my hips? They're compromised, I'm turned in. So I do that, bind up, and I've now got a long way to go to get out, or I'm hidden behind him, or I'm twisted in. So it's the inside foot that's important as I walk in, inside foot, reaching across, he gets a bind, I pull through. Just do that for me. Make sure that inside foot's right. Can you set a tight hip job? Make sure your inside foot's up. Okay, after me. Okay, again, righty tighty, stepping up inside foot, reach across, pull through. Guys, can you just step back that way? Okay, crack. Ready for action. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Pulling through. Crouch. Ready for action. Okay. Getting into your groups of three. Okay, can I have the last two groups? Just come and stand on the machine behind this bar, please, for me. Okay, what I want you guys to do is make the bind. Okay. Just wait for me. Okay. Guys, I'm going to give the instructions to crouch, touch, pause, and engage, okay? Crouch, touch, hand away, stand up. What's the action at the touch? Touch and then pull your hand away, isn't it? Ready for binding, okay. Crouch, touch, pause, and engage. And up you come. Very gentle, very nice. Okay, next group, we ready? Okay, what's the reason for for doing the touch? Yeah, but what else is it doing in terms of how far you are from your opponent? Set the distance. Okay, remember we said walk round, not reach round. Pull through. Crouch. Touch. Pause. And engage. That's good. Stand up. Next group ready to go. Next group isn't, he wasn't doing it for everybody. Okay. Get yourself set up. Crouch. Touch. Stand up. You're quite tall, aren't you? Yeah. So if you go from there and do that, are you in a good position or do you need to be a bit further back? Okay. Just arms length apart, that's where you need to be. Crouch. Touch. Pause and engage. Not bad. And up you come. Guys, okay, so the advantage of actually having a machine which has got some give in it, okay, which this has, whether it's a roller or this sort of machine, is that you can actually get the guys to practice their hit. Why is the hit important? Why is it important, Wilsey? Yeah, so you're trying to get a good position. Mr. Rice, so why would you as a scrum half want a good hit from your pack so they're going forward? So you're going to win the ball under control. Is it possible, and people tell me, to win the scrum without it being your putting and you getting the ball? Yes. It is because you put the opposition on the back foot, the attacking backs are going, well actually we've got to go backwards a bit before we're going to get it, your defending backs are coming up. So this, the hit, is key to everything. Okay. Crouch, touch and pause, engage. That's better. And up you come. Okay, so whether you're working with year sevens or your first team, all you're doing is adjusting the uh, number of bands to absorb the, the hit.